So the tenth step to a science project is to create a display and practice a presentation. Now I've been showing you some displays through this series of videos, so you've gotten a little idea of what, what different project boards can look like. I prefer to create the display before practicing a presentation because you can use your board as a, a reference point in when you're talking about your project. So the different elements that should be on your board are the different steps of the project. So briefly, you should have some form of title. You can put it up above, as you saw in some of the projects, or you can put it on the board. And then I prefer to put the question and hypothesis and procedure on this side and sometimes put the conclusion over here and sometimes put it over here. Um, now this one, um, then I like to put pictures and graphs in the middle. You don't have to, but it's nice because it's very visually appealing to look at the center. And so you work, you kind of work in time order. You started with your question, hypothesis, what you're going to do, this is your test, and then your conclusions over here. I also like to add sometimes a little extra. Um, so this student did what she called chemistry corner, just a little bit of an education, and that's that little 5% extra. If you do something like that, you can often um, make your project much more interesting by adding just a little bit extra um, to your board. So then, in, in creating your board, make it visually appealing, make it, make, don't make it too crowded, make it interesting for someone to look at. Your presentation for your science project should be a concise and confident summary of the project that you did. The best way to, uh, to write a presentation or to come up with your presentation is to use your project board and to go through step by step what you did. But you also need to practice. You need to have as many people come over as you can and say, hey, can I do my, practice my presentation on you? Have them ask you questions. Be able to say it out of order. Don't be stuck where you have to just do it you know, in order and go through your whole project. Allow people to come and ask questions and skip around and get comfortable with all the material. You should be able to explain every single thing that's on your board. And this doesn't happen naturally for a lot of students. Some students, they can do it, they can practice it three or four times and they're great. They're ready for the, the science fair. But other students need to practice it for a few weeks. So make sure that you give yourself enough time when you schedule out your science fair project that you have enough time to practice the speech I didn't realize um, how much people spend on speeches until my, one of my students joined a speech club and I realized they, they practiced the same speech all year long to present it. And we were only giving ourselves just a few days to practice that speech at the end of our science fair project. But it's a very important component of your science project. You need to be able to communicate what you have learned while you did your science project. So when you present it at the fair, that you will be able to be comfortable and confident and be able to explain what happens. So practice, practice, practice is the most important part of your presentation.